ladies and gentlemen. This is Reverend William Holder from the island of Bermuda. Faith, Reverend Santa Smith Hill, Bermuda. I would like to talk to you out of the word of God from the book of Isaiah chapter 20 verse 1 to 6. I would like to talk to you on the topic God's warning against forming an alliance with the world. God's warning against forming an alliance with the world. Isaiah chapter 20 verse 1 to 6 it is recorded the year that Tartan came unto Esdod, when Sargon the king of Israel sent him and fought against Esdod and took it. And the same time spake the Lord by Isaiah the son of Amos, saying, Go and loose the sack from all of thy loins, and put off thy shoe from thy foot, and he did so, walking naked. And barefoot. And the Lord said, Like as my servant Isaiah has walked naked and barefoot three years for a sign and wonder upon Egypt and upon Ethiopia, so shall the king of Assyria lead away the Egyptian prisoners and the Ethiopians captives, young and old. Naked and barefoot, even, my friend, with their bodies uncovered to the shame of Egypt. And they shall be afraid and ashamed of Ethiopia their expectation and of Egypt their glory. And the inhabitants of this earth shall say that they behold such is our expectation. But we flee for how to be delivered from the king of Syria, and how shall we escape? There was a strong warning issued to Judah by the Lord, a warning against forming an alliance with Egypt and Ethiopia. Remember that Assyria was the dominant power during the days, holy most or the world under the thumb of its power. But there were pockets of resistance and the Assyrian movements who sought to overcome, overthrow the Congress domination. One of these movements was shattered in Estor, one of the major cities of Lista. This particular resistance had been incurred by Egypt, who had promised is support in the event of Syria's sword to put down the opposition. The Philistines even attempt to enlist Judah as well as Moab and Edom to form an alliance in the event of an attack. The Assyrian king Sargon II, mentioned earlier in the Old Testament, sent his commander in chief Tartan to put down the resistance in Esdod. He conquered the city in 7 BC and considering that Esdod was only 33 miles west of Jerusalem, the Assyrian army was naturally a threat to King Hezekiah and the Jews. However, there was a strong opponent of pro Egyptian party in Jerusalem. Thus, the threat of Assyria will become even more serious. If this pro Egyptian party gained control of the government. And because of the looming danger to his people, the Lord instructed Isaiah to pronounce a severe warning to the Jews and to do it in such a way that the people could not miss the point. Verse 2. The Lord told Isaiah to strip off his other clothes or the sackcloth that he was wearing and to walk barefoot for three years. This meant that Isaiah was walking around, my friend, wearing only a loincloth in order to picture what would happen to the Jews if they formed an alliance with the Egyptians 
and Ethiopians. These two nations were unbelievers. People had defied the Lord when they living in to God. The Isaiah was predicting that the Assyrians would conquer both Egypt and Ethiopia, verse 4. And the survivors would be taken captive to exile, stripped, and barefoot. Through this symbolic action, the Lord used Isaiah to issue his strong warning, verse 5 and 6. All who put their trust in Egypt and Ethiopia will suffer for and shame. For these two nations will collapse. Consequently, the spirit will grip the hearts of the people. For they will suddenly discover that they put their trust in the wrong place. They will know they could not possibly escape from the king of Assyria. And this is a clear warning against evil associations. Forming alliances or getting a war with evil people will lead to catastrophe. If we associate with evil people, they will encourage us to join them in their sinful behavior. And if we continue to associate with them, eventually we will cave in to their subduction. We cannot resist the loss of the flesh continually. Eventually, we warned, eventually, we want a second helping of pride, okay? And if a young lady continues to date an immoral young man, eventually, she caves into the lust of the flesh and commits immorality. If a person associates with thieves, then he will join in the stealing. The same is true with those who smoke, take drugs, drink alcohol beverages, look at pornographic material, or commit a host of other sins and misbehavior. If a person associates with the disobedient self of, of this world, then the person will join in the forbidden behavior. Consequently, the hand of God's judgment will fall upon him. God's hand it raised against all sin, against all evil associations. Listen to what God's holy word had to say. Paul in First Corinthians chapter 5 and 9 to 11 wrote, I wrote unto you in an epistle not to get company with fornicators, and not all together with the fornicators of the world, or with the covetous, or extortioners, or with adulterers. For then must ye need go out over the world. But now I have written unto you not to keep company. Any man that is called would rather be a fornicator or covetous or an idolater or a railer or a drunkard or an extortioner with such a one knows not to eat. Paul in Ephesians chapter 5 and 11 wrote, Have no fellowship with the unfruitful work of darkness, but rather reprove them. In first Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33, Paul stated, Be not deceived. Evil communications or companionships corrupt good manners. In Exodus chapter 34, verse 12, Take heed to thyself, that thou make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land. But thou go, lest it be for a snare in the midst of thee. In Psalm chapter 1 verse 1, in Psalm 1 verse 1, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. In Proverbs chapter 4 verse 14, And not into the path of the wicked, and go not in the way of evil men. In Proverbs chapter 24, Verse 1, be not thou envious against evil men, neither desire to be with them. In Isaiah chapter 52 and 11, depart ye, depart ye, go ye out from thence, touch no unclean thing, go ye out of the midst of her, be ye clean that burn the vessels 
of the Lord. In Proverbs chapter 23, verse 6 and 7, Enter thou not, eat thou not the bread of him that hath an evil eye, neither desire thou his dainty meats. For as he sinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, says he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. In Proverbs chapter 1, verse 10 and verse 15, My son, it said to tithe thee, consent thou not. My son, walk not thou in the way, but then restrain thy foot from the path. God bless you, and be with you is a prayer of our hearts.